Kathy, you mentioned earlier the president's roundtable discussion with Arizona tribal leaders. The president announcing more than $8 billion heading to tribes across the country. But some say that money is long overdue and in some cases a little too late. Here's ABC 15's Nicole Valdez. As President Trump made his way through the walls of Honeywell Tuesday, a handful of Native American leaders gathered for a meeting, hoping for help. Right now, we're behind the eight ball. We're behind so many decades of uh, promise, you know, uh, promises, broken promises. Navajo Nation Vice President Myron Lizer and Gila Rivers Governor Stephen Lewis sitting beside Trump as he announced $8 billion in aid for Native American communities in the U.S., 4.8 billion released this week. Amount of money that's being uh, sent to Indian country, as we call it, is the largest amount in the history of the U.S. And you deserve it. And you've been through a lot. The Navajo Nation, one of the hardest hit by COVID-19, promised 600 million of the lot. But leaders are skeptical. President Jonathan Ness says, you know, we're not going to believe it until it hits our bank account. And some in Congress critical. That could have been alleviated much sooner if the resources and medical support got to them at a sooner point. The money, part of the CARES Act, signed, sealed, and delivered to most Americans weeks ago, but money for Native Americans was halted after several tribes sued U.S. leaders for trying to give some of that money to Alaska Native corporations. Just last week, a D.C. district court sided with the tribes. I'm happy that a portion of the money is going out to the tribal communities, including the Navajo Nation now, but all of it should go out now, and it shouldn't have taken a lawsuit to get it done. But some tribal members, less than hopeful. It's pretty much guaranteed, um, in, as far as the majority of the people are concerned, that we will never ever hear about or see that money. Rhoda Athelbaugh is a member of the Fort Apache Indian community and says even with promised money, there are still problems it may not be able to fix. The most concerning thing by far is the fact that we have several people who um, are considered homeless that are running rampant and the hospital ER is saying that most of our cases are coming from them sharing bottles or, or sharing that. As for the funding, for now, it's more of a wait and see for how it makes a difference, but time is of the essence. Nicole Valdez, APC 15, Arizona.